Hello, I have Jubilee from Treehouse. They say this is their the newest uh, core beer in their lineup. It's a double IPA, 8%, and it features the very new Peacherine hops from New Zealand. And I, I think the only other beer I've had with Peacherine in it was um, from Treehouse, their Heavenly Peace Pale Ale, the came out for like Christmas um that was pretty good it was unique but it had a lot of body and flavor and haze for something that was just a pale ale this is a double IPA it was canned exactly a week ago um uh January 11th <clears throat> so I'm expecting to like it And what's nice is that it, it was not as cheap as like Hayes, but I think it was $18 for a four pack, which they have a whole bunch of 20 plus dollar double IPA four packs. And those aren't always the best. A lot of times their um, they're core beers, they do really, really well. Just not even the expensive ones like Hurricane. That's a $17 one, uh, four pack. They don't make that one too often, but I really love that one. Um, very sappy, I guess that very sappy was $20. That's a more expensive one, but that one's really good. And I'm getting aromas from this already. It's got a really nice head. Bubbles aren't popping super fast. It's pretty dense with some soapy ones on top. Always a good sign. Not a very fancy label here, but I guess for their core beers, they often keep it sort of simple. Yep, and this, yeah, <laughs> this reminds me of, of the Heavenly Peace beer, the, the Pale Ale is just Petrine. It's definitely peachy, but then the Treehouse yeast comes out a lot, too. That, like, circus peanutty type weird thing. And it, this is different than the peach quality you might get from, like, Mosaic. Maybe it's closer to Simcoe, but I mean, <coughs> those so Mosaic and Simcoe are both from, um, you know, America, whereas this is from New Zealand, but this hop seems quite different from the other classic New Zealand hops, like Nelson and Motueka. Maybe it's closer to Motueka. I don't know that... that that kind of toasty circus peanut candy thing is like, I don't know, I'm not going crazy for it right now. But we'll see about the flavor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some dank stuff in there that I wasn't quite getting in the aroma. It is very cold. That's nice. Very full flavored. And yeah, I'm getting like berry notes. It's like... That's weird because it's like peach and blueberry are often how people describe mosaic. But once again, this is very different from mosaic. It doesn't have that sort of like oniony bite at all. And yeah, maybe I'm seeing the relation between this and Nelson a little bit. There's a little bit of a peppery thing, a little bit of a whiny thing. But yeah, peacherine, just a really interesting hop. And this has a nice big soft mouthfeel. And wow, it, it's quite sweet. What do they say? They say earthy citrus, white wine, tropical fruit, star, star fruit. I don't know if I've ever actually had a star fruit. But yeah, it's coming at me with a lot of different tropical fruits. It reminds me a bit of just like Capri Sun Pacific Cooler. That was my favorite one as a child. I don't know what's all the different fruit flavorings in that. But... Yeah, it's weird. The nose seems one-sided a bit. Mm. But the flavor is, it's like it's got a little bit of a creaminess to it. Almost like a vanilla type thing. Almost like a creamsicle thing. Which usually I only get when beers that have like citra. Or they actually add vanilla or something like that. Um, 
but then it's got a little bit of these berry notes. Um, but it stays very bright and tropical. And yeah, a little citrusy, a little bit, yeah, definitely orange going on. I guess they call it peacherine because it's like peach and nectarine. Um, and yes, Trios doesn't even say those on this, uh, but maybe that's obvious. But yeah, it's cool. Stone fruit, berry, maybe a little bit white winey type thing. Really complex flavors, especially fruit flavors. But then there's some kind of dankness that once I had a sip of it, I was like, oh yeah, this is good. Because I was worried it was just going to be kind of like weird esters and hops and nothing else. But there's some generic overripe, I don't want to say sweaty dankness, but kind of like in that realm. Not grassy though, really. But this is this is very good. Um, and it brings the softness and sweetness you'd expect of Treehouse. Uh, it, yeah, it makes sense for me as a core beer. And I'm just liking the smell more and more. Yeah, this is this is really good. Mm -hmm. I think on Untapped right now, it doesn't have a huge amount of check-ins because it's so new. But on Untapped, it's a 4.4, .4, and it it deserves that. I'd say, bye.